Hello, it's Amanda from IDPN, the ID Photographer Network. Today we're going to show you how to straighten lines and fix the perspective of an image. So we'll get started. So sometimes when you shoot a very architectural image with lots of lines, it can be very apparent that this perspective is warped from the lens. The lines might become narrower or bowed at the ends, and without being able to zoom in and back way up while you're shooting, or use a lens specifically designed to fix keystoning, the only option is to fix the perspective in Photoshop. So the first step is to duplicate the image by going to Layer, New, Layer via Copy. We need a layer we can transform, and we want to leave a little background information in case we need to crop in or reconstruct a patch later. Next we need to make sure our rulers are on. If you don't see them on the edges here, you can go to View Rulers. If we click on those rulers and drag out from them, Photoshop will give you a bright blue line wherever you release your mouse. These blue lines are guides. They won't show up in the final product, but since they lie straight across the image, you can use them as a reference to straighten the picture. So we're going to put a few lines in on the vertical, and we're going to line these up to the lines that are already present in the picture itself. And you want to go all the way across the image. And then we're going to put a few in on the horizontal. I'm using this corner right here for those lines. One, and then right here. So as you can see, the image is pretty straight across the vertical, but it needs to be fixed on the horizontal. So this corner here should also match up to this line here. To fix it, we're going to go to Edit, Free Transform. Now usually you use Free Transform to scale or rotate an image in a layout, but if you hold down your Option or your Alt key and you hover near the corners, you get a white arrow, and this will allow you to move those corners individually. So we're going to pull these corners out until we start to see them matching up across where those lines are. And don't be afraid to give yourself a new guide if you need to also. So to check that line right there, check that line right there. I also see that this corner is higher than this corner, so we're going to pull a little on the bottom down here. Now you want to make sure that you're not undoing things that were correct before. That's why you want to lay in the, the vertical lines as well as the horizontal. You also want to keep an eye on your model. You don't want to wing someone out so that they look strange within the pi picture itself. Fixing, fixing the perspective can require kind of a careful balance. So once you have the image the way you want it, you need to hit return to keep the free transform, and then you can flatten your layers by going to layer, flatten image. You can now save your image as a JPEG. Saving as a JPEG means that you can print or upload the image anywhere, but you should only flatten and save it if you're sure you're done with the edit the way that you like it. You can also clear your guides by going to view, clear guides, and you're done. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you learned something today and be sure to check out the rest of our videos by subscribing to our channel or visiting our resource library and the blog listed in the description below. Thank you again from IDPN, the ID Photographer Network at www.idophotonet.com.